Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to present the Merle Howard Award. Given in memory of Merle Howard, the 1954 Klusendorf winner, the Howard Award is given to World Dairy Expo's top junior exhibitor. Howard was a longtime World Dairy Expo volunteer who also served as herd manager for Mooseheart Farms, as a Holstein classifier, and later in the sales and export business. He was a charter member of the National Dairy Shrine and on the first ever board of directors of National Dairy Shrine. He is one of only eight people to have won its 4E award for outstanding service 
and three years ago, Howard was named a pioneer by National Dairy Shrine. Here with us to present the eighth Merle Howard winner is Merle's son, Tom, Steve, and Tom Morris, who heads up the Howard Committee. In addition, we have all of the previous winners with us as well, and we would ask that they come forward as their names are announced. From 2004, Robert Texiera of Turlock, California. From 2005, Matthew Mitchell of La Follette, Tennessee. From 2006, Greta Keeble of Three Oaks, Michigan. From 2007, Brandon Ferry of Pickett, Wisconsin. From 2008, Kelly Lee of Johnson Creek, Wisconsin. Our 2009 winner, Kyle Natsky of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, can be found in the, in the ring showing a Holstein four-year-old, as is the 2010 winner, Stephanie Aves of Poplar Grove, Illinois. And now for this year's winner. This young lady is a well-rounded dairy youth who is an outstanding judge, exhibitor, and leader. Simply said, she has an incredible judging record, taking home not one, but three high individual honors at national caliber dairy judging contests. In 2006, she placed first overall individual at the All-American Dairy Show in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Three years later, she repeated that accomplishment by winning high individual at the National 4-H Dairy Cattle Judging Contest at World Dairy Expo. And last fall, she was high individual and also won oral reasons at the North American International Livestock Exposition in Louisville, Kentucky. A gifted leader, she also served as president of Her Breeds National Junior Association two years ago. At World Dairy Expo, she showed seven cows and heifers that placed in the top four in her junior breed show during the last four years. Of that group, all but one was homebred. In 2009, this Merle Howard Award winner exhibited the Reserve All-American Junior Three-Year-Old that also captured Junior All-American Honors when was named Reserve Grand Champion of the National Guernsey Show at World Dairy Expo. This week, her homebred fall yearling, Up the Creek Super Luck Kazoom, was named Reserve Junior Champion of the Junior Show by Judge Blaine Crosser. Above all, this young lady is a hard worker who fits and prepares her own animals for the show each year. For these and many other accomplishments, this Minnesota native was also named the Outstanding National Guernsey Youth last year. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Karen Anderson as the eighth winner of the Merle Howard Award. As Karen makes her way to the ring, we are happy to congratulate this University of Minnesota student from Lester Prairie, Minnesota. She is the daughter of David and Donna Anderson and also has one brother, Kevin. Once again, let's give Karen Anderson a great World Dairy Expo round of applause. Placings are complete in the four-year-old class. First, our production award winner, entry 3556, Brainwave Goldwyn Laramie, exhibited by Milk Source Genetics of Kakana, Wisconsin. Placing third in the class, entry 3569, Jacobs Goldwyn Emery, exhibited by From Jacobs, Capsan, Quebec. She was also first bred known. Second in the class, entry 3562, Dubo Dundee Hezbollah, exhibited by St. Jacob's ABC, Clark Woodman Z, and Peter Vale of Fairfield, Vermont. And your winning entry and best utter in the class, entry 3563, Rocky Mountain Talent Licorice, exhibited by Butler, the Borbas, Price, Durer, Fernandez, and Elite Dairy Genomics of Shabans, Illinois. Congratulations.
Judge your comments on this class. I uh, hate repeating myself, but I mean, you talk about a spectacle, but this is just unreal. I think they should get another round of applause. <laughs> These first four or five cows, I think they do set themselves out apart from each other. They, with those mammary sisters, and as they line up there, you can see their rear, rear udders. But then these two cows here at the top, they have that balance. They're lean, they're dairy, and terrific mammary systems. It's a close placing today, but I'm just giving the advantage. She's first cow is a little wider at the top of her rear udder. The main thing is, is the way her fore udder blends into her body wall. It just neats in there just so much more correctly than this real stylish big frame cow we have coming in second. The second cow over this real long angular dairy cow, both the first and second cows, use, they use the movement. They're just so much more their locomotion, so much better than this big stylish cow. But that second cow, just on the depth of four rib and the balance takes her over top of this real extreme dairy cow we have in third. The third calf, she, cow, she uses that extremeness. She's longer. She's a little leaner today than this fresh cow. It's today is the day, and, and I'm giving that reason just on the leanness, but maybe just the most complete cow we have coming here in fourth in the class. She's high and wide in the rear udder. has got a terrific crease all the way to the top. She's longer than this real dairy cow, and, and that width at the top of her rear udder carries over this ultra dairy cow we have in fifth. Fifth over six, she's just got that balance. Again, she's wider at the top of her rear udder. I prefer the shape at the bottom and the turn to her rear udder than this big, powerful cow coming out next. But just a tremendous class of cows. Congratulations.